Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name's Kat, as always, thank you for stopping in. Uh, today, I have a Jeep being delivered. I bought a little mini Willys Jeep. I'll tell you the story about how much time it took me to get this thing later. It was being delivered today and I had to order it so I had to get it delivered freight and they're showing up here in like two minutes. This is my uh, husband waiting oh so patiently for his new rent golf cart. That's right. I'm waiting for the old 666 Willie's Jeep coming at you live. So, at least it's halfway together, he says. So. It seems as though <clears throat> we were under the impression that it came in a crate, which That's it kind of does. It comes on a giant pallet. So for those of you that want to know, I got this from Princess Auto in Canada. And yeah, so I guess we're gonna start this vlog here. We're gonna put together this bitch. So just so you know, if you get one of these, um, they come in a metal framed crate. So it is a crate of sorts. It's a good thing we're handy people, hey? All right, so yeah. This, there's some. There's some tires. I got some rubber. And yeah, so we are gonna put her together, I guess. So it comes pretty much belled. That's after we got the metal packaging off, it's got the tires, so we're gonna... New Jeep. You got your new Jeep? I didn't think it was gonna be this big, but it is. Is that your, get your finger out of your nose. I'm itching. Oh, you're itching, okay. So is that your new lake ride or what? Yeah. There we go. Got it out of the plastic, all of the parts and pieces. We've got five tires, one sits on the back. We've got a gas can, a whole bunch of parts and pieces there, and a man reading instructions. What are you saying? Um, so please subscribe our button and link it down below. If you have it, please do it now. It's right down there. That's right. And should they, hey, come back here. Should they, should they like this video? Yeah. Should they comment down below? Yeah. All right. And leave a description and we'll do more channels. Okay, we'll okay. do more videos on this channel? Yeah. All right. You can get back to working now. Oh, okay, thank you. All right. Damn, look at those arms. Whoop. All right, so it said for us to assemble the steering column bit, but it's already been assembled. Yep, I just need these screws out. Okay. Well, I got a steering wheel. Yeah, I need And that. that. Your mom will be using this on film. <laughs> mm. Alright, next. Mount the steering wheel. Check. Adjust the steering wheel height using a 5 hex key to remove the screws. You did it? Okay. Put transmission lit. Put transmission shift lever into neutral position. See operating lever. Okay. Uh oh. What? Where's the shifter manual? Oh, there's a section. Uh, hold on, hold on. 
There's a section in this manual that gives you the information. All right, let's go. I have a side note here. I got my order from Island Soap and Candleworks. Hawaii, airmail from Hawaii. Anyway, so this will be another video, but here we're going with the Jeep. Got the windscreen, windshield, depending on where you live, uh, visor on. It surprisingly has come in less packages than I anticipated, so that's been good. And it's going together pretty seamlessly. Just FYI, it's uh, dangerous to put the plastic film on head. So whatever head that is, don't put the film on there, I guess. I guess they've never heard of condom. <laughs> Some mirror action. Oh yeah. What's up, friends? Well, that's gonna be the license plate, Maui Wowie. Oh yeah. It's cool, that's a little tub in here. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, it's all. Except for I might have to put a couple little holes. Or? For the water to drain out. Oh yeah, rains, yeah, yeah. Right? That's a good idea. So you gotta take these bolts out. They come pre-bolted in, they gotta come out. And then put the seats down and then they go back in. So, in discovering that we uh, had to put the arm rails on, this is why it's important to read the instructions. Hey, Beth. So the side rail bits. What's instructions? What's instructions? Yeah. So these side rails have to sit up on here, but they get bolted in, which would make sense if you would read the instructions or if you realized they needed, you were gonna get these uh, side rails in the kit, which I didn't, you know, we didn't. And so... Um, you don't have to necessarily have them on. Yeah, that's true, walk. you probably don't have to. But which, they're good for real armrests. They're great for armrests. So these bolts in here, that's where this guy goes. And just FYI, these ones at the front don't have washers, so I guess if you can put your own washers on, that's good. If not, well... And these just unscrew off the back of the seat here. Those just unscrew. Oh yeah, for the armrest. And you're putting it on the top? That's where it says. That's the, where it says, okay. In the inner instructions. The instructions that don't actually say a whole bunch. I mean, the, the instructions are pretty good, but there's uh, definitely a few things missing. We'll say that. Now, I know you can get these on the website called Alibaba for... I don't know, between 700 and 900 American. We live in Canada, and to ship it to us, once I paid, oh, there's an airplane. That's a random thing. Um, what? 
I did the conversion, seven to nine hundred, depending on the person you bought it from. American would go to about eighteen hundred Canadian, and then I would have to ship it from China to Vancouver, and then Vancouver to Saskatchewan. And by the time I got it here, it was going to be about three thousand dollars Canadian. So at Princess Auto, um, I actually got it for twenty eight hundred dollars. And so that was the better deal. And I had to order it from another city and get it actually freighted over. And the freight only cost me $50. So it made more sense to go through Princess Auto. However, if you live close to a port, um, it actually would probably be worth your while to check out the Alibaba site. If I'd lived in Vancouver, it probably would have been better. If we didn't uh, have the COVID situation and we, we can't drive throughout the provinces right now, we probably honestly would have probably just gone and picked it up and it just shipped it from China to Vancouver and picked it up from there. But because we did not have that option and we wanted this little beauty for the summertime, we figured we would just buy it from Princess Auto. So we're also having a mini debate here. We have a license plate, I don't know where it is, for the mini Jeep. Oh, here it is. So, this is going to be the license plate. It says Maui Waui. We have some a lot of ties to Hawaii and Maui. But we're deciding, should we make this the MASH Jeep? Or should we make it like Hawaiian tribal? So comment down below and let us know what you guys want to see on this. We're going to get some vinyls cut, but... Uh, yeah, should we go like MASH 4077, you know, like an original MASH Jeep, or should we go something like Beach Cruiser, Hawaiian style, with like a tribal turtle on the front, something like that? Let me know in the comments. To be fair, anybody with a little bit of skill in the nuts and bolts situation could potentially put this together. I do know Princess Auto will put them together for a fee, but we don't need that sort of help here, so. So just so you guys know, you cannot put fuel in the fuel tank that hangs on the back, but Clay had a really good idea, and why not like drinks? You know what I mean? You can put it like, get a little pump and pump it out there, how cute. So just, just a heads up, you're not supposed to put fuel in the fuel tank that hangs off the back, which is what the bracket we're putting on now is um, going on to. So just so you're aware, the battery holder is down there. So the current time is eight o'clock. We put this thing together in about four hours, Clay. Yep. You did most of the work, I just kind of hung out. But now, we're just putting fuel in. So I don't know if you can see the line. That's how much it took to fill the truck Jeep from it up here. empty. And it was up right, right full, so. And what, how many is that? That's 10? 
15. 10 liters. It's a 10 so liter, so. so. So realistically, it would t take like maybe 10 bucks, eight bucks to fill it Canadian. That's so cute. Just so you're all aware, there is a fuel on off switch somewhere down there. And you have to make sure it's on before you try to start it. That does not have anything to do with the instructions because they don't have that in the instructions. So just an FYI, on this side of the fuel tank, there's an on off switch. Make sure it's set to on prior to starting. So we took the Jeep for a couple little spins. It works good. Just kind of a 360 for you guys. Super cute. It's got it's got mash vibes written all over it. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for stopping and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let us know. Should we do the Aloha print? Should we do the mash Jeep? It's late. How long did it take us to make this thing? Three hours, four hours, I don't know, long enough. A couple of trials and errors and, you know, instructions aren't super good. But anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for stopping in. Peace out.